Question 25. This is the last question on the paper, so it is a level 5 question. Let's have a look at what we're going to do. It says, this is a centimetre grid. Draw three more lines to make a parallelogram with an area of 10 centimetres squared. Now what we could do is just start drawing lines in by trial and error and seeing if it will work. I don't recommend this way, but this is what could happen. So if we did it this way and just experimented with a parallelogram, the area of this one would be 1, 2, 3, 4 full squares. 1, 2 halves make 5 full squares. And these two halves make 6 full squares. So that's actually got an area of 6. So that shows you that it is too short. There's a much better way of doing this though. And the way of doing this is to revise the formula for a parallelogram. So the area of a parallelogram is equal to the base times perpendicular height. Perpendicular means straight up. So we are told that the area has got to be 10. But we already know that the height of this parallelogram, this is going to be the straight up height, that is 2 squares. So the height is 2. So the question is, what does the base have to be? So the area is going to be something times 2 to make 10. 10 equals something times 2. Well, it won't take you long to work out that it's got to be 5. So the base has to be 5. So what we're saying here is that the bottom of the parallelogram will have to be 5 squares long. So let's try it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Don't forget that opposite sides in a parallelogram have to be equal length. So if the bottom is 5, the top has also got to be 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The only other side that we haven't done is this side here. And we're saying that this should have an area of 10. Well, let's count the whole squares first. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These two halves put together make a whole one, which would make 9. And these two halves put together make a whole one, which would make 10. So that parallelogram does indeed have an area of 10 centimetres squared. So that's the correct answer.